Uh, Ken Hag has provided an injury update ahead of Manchester United's Premier League meeting with Sheffield United at Old Trafford. <clears throat> Tonight's game follows hot on the heels of Sunday's remarkable Emirates FA Cup semi-final with Coventry City, which we of course won on penalties after the Sky Blues came back from a 3-0 deficit to force extra time. It was a dramatic and gruelling afternoon under the arch at Wembley, and two Reds who started the game are now doubts for the clash with the Blades, which is a fixture rearranged from March. Marcus Rashford was replaced by Ahmed in the dying seconds of normal time, while Scott McTominay came off for Omari Forson and the homegrown paraphrase a race to be fit for the coming fixture. Personally, McTominay would be a bigger loss than Rashford at the minute, as Scotty runs himself into the ground for the cause. While Rashford has cut a disinterested and forlorn figure whenever he started or even come on as a sub. Fernandez and Garnacho also picked up problems in the capital but should be okay to play. Ten Hag said we have a problem with Garnacho, that's why we took him off during the game, but I think he'll be fine. Scott McTominay will we will have to assess today and he's doubtful. Marcus Rashford is also doubtful, and then there's an issue with Bruno Fernandez with his hand but I think he can make it. My question there is does Bruno play football with his hands? He's an outfield player so it shouldn't really be a problem. Meanwhile the Reds injury list and issues show no sign of abating. Ara Amrabat, Kambala and Mount were added to our list of absentees ahead of the match at Wembley and still remain so. Johnny Evans, Victor Lindelof, Terrell Malasia Lissandro Martinez and Luke Shaw are also all out. That of course leaves Casemiro as a prime candidate to play at centre back again alongside Maguire. And while the latter has gained in reputation and performance over the last month, the former has displayed a disinterest and general lack of fitness that is not professional enough for a player of his reputation. That also leaves us again with a number of academy defenders as backup on the bench. Andrew and Anna can play as the two yellow cards at Wembley, one in normal time and the other during the shootout, have no impact on his availability for future league or cup matches. This of course should be a win, and an easy one, against a team who are already preparing for next season in the championship. Is it time to be bold if you're Eric Ten Hag and bring some of the younger talent to the fore while sending a message to our pampered stars at the same time? What do you think? Drop me a line in the comment section. And don't forget to support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Once again, many thanks and here's hoping for a positive result tonight.